Hello, I'm Brave Comrade. It's uh, unfortunate that I've just come on stage after such creative speeches. Uh, well done. And I was particularly taken aback by the speech by the nurse. I think that's a reality of the problems that do happen, Con considering they're going on strike tomorrow. It was very timely, so I do really feel for you. Um, it feels great to address this cross-union rally as the president of University of Birmingham UCU Union. Firstly, congratulations to all these successful pickets during the coldest months of the year. We've, I think we've supported Shelter, Asserts going out on strike, CWP, CWU, uh, Unite, RCN and RMT to name a few. We are seeing the largest nursing strike in England for a very long time. Having worked in academia for 12 years and three establishments, being a nurse lecturer, I have been the only nurse on the picket on behalf of UCU until recently. It's really changing, it's getting different. Mental health nurse, by the way. Uh, okay. So nurses requesting for a 19% pay rise is not unreasonable. When you see a company like Rolls-Royce Rolls paying out 17.6 to their staff to avert industrial action, the scales seem to be tipping towards those private companies, it seems, which is unfortunate. It's great to see momentum and hopefully resistance against the outdated agenda for change, which has been the management shield for cheap labour longer than, than was ever needed. This is the document that's been um, compiled and dictate the terms and conditions for nurses for a very long time now. Turning more, to, uh, more towards a UCU strikes as a lecturer then, we had a, we um, wanted to talk specifically on some of the mistakes that employers and how the government have made to break us and how those with so much power failed against the common person of the likes of you and I. So, mistake number one, the government thought by extending the notice period for strike action in 2016, Tory Trade Union Act, they would manage strike action and be able to be make it more predictable. They failed. They failed because we became even more unpredictable with our tactics. It's almost 2023 and the employers still can't accurately work out how many staff will be out on strike. They wanted us to report on their systems and we have desisted. Win number two, the university employers thought by threatening us with additional pay deductions for taking ASOS, action short of strike, that we would crumble and our membership wouldn't dare go out on strike again. Yet we had the biggest strike action in higher education last month. At the University of Birmingham, our pickets alone were 150 members, strong on just what, on all, on all, all our gates. The employer failed. They failed because the economic strategy to punish us didn't work because we had a strong trade we had strong trade union values. We were brave comrades that despite being intimidated right up to the line, didn't turn back and go home. In our branch, there has been no deductions to date, but the threat still carries on. And trade union win number three. They tried to give us bait with a 3% imposed pay deal. Just before the strikes, they gave us crumbs with another 2% top up, but only till July, that was locally. We're supposed to give, be grateful of such awful acts and negotiate with them locally. They failed again. To date, we remain in national pay bargaining and have successfully resisted such nonsense. So when you're at home and celebrating, having a break this year, remember that you are that person who created the biggest cross-union resistance ever since the Tories took seat. And without you, we would have failed instead in solidarity.